Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wilkie, and I'm back with some more Fake Grand Order video. Today, I wanted to do a quick look at what's coming up for the rest of the year. So yeah, that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like, comment, tell me how you're planning out the rest of the year, and all that other stuff. Now obviously at the moment Japan is waiting for summer 6? Yeah, that makes sense. But over in North America, we already know exactly what we're going to get because, you know, this happened two years ago. We're two years behind, so we can easily plan ahead and look forward. And I like to, after a big event, such as summer, which I just finished by the time I'm recording this, I the reason I did not do a lot of fake videos is because I was too busy, actually, um, uh, grinding all of that, trying to get as much QP out of it as I could. But I digress. Uh, so yeah, we know exactly what's going to come up, and I always like to take a quick look at see the current status of what I've got. Think about where I'm going to kind of be summoning, where I'm going to be skipping. And then at, once the new year comes in, I'll make a brand new list and see what's going to come up for the next year. So, Alright, so first of all, currently we've got Interlude Campaign 10, which just launched today. Thankfully it doesn't really have... I have, uh, I have Jack and I don't really have a real big need for Tesla. I also have Ishtar. I don't remember if Ishtar and the rest are actually on this summoning campaign. No, it's just per weird. Those are the that's the archer they pick. They pick Tesla. Okay, <laughs> and not not to talk crap on Tesla, but okay. V weird pick from my eyes. So that's currently going on, but that means basically dead week or dead month. But coming up afterwards should be something else. Should be the Battle of New York pre-release campaign. Let me see, let's just see if there's a banner on here. It doesn't look like there's going to be a banner for this. Which is crazy. Oh no, it's, it's the class-based summoning campaign, which these I always skip. I never have a real need to summon on any of them. Even though Quetzalcoatl is in one of them, I just never end up summoning on them. Uh, I prefer to save it for limited units. Here it is. So here's the... this is not a class-based summoning. The Battle of New York 2019. So... Where is the... Hmm. Where's the banner? I swear it's... It should not be this hard to find. There it is. The summoning campaign is... I was about to say, it should not be this hard. This banner should have Gilgamesh, Gorgon, and Jaguar Man on it. Uh, Gorgon is limited. Uh, story locked, actually, I believe is the proper term for this one. And it's the same for Jaguar Man. Gilgamesh is, in fact, 100% limited. Some brand new CEs to kind of go along with it, from Uruk, Round and Round, Fly Off, which is different from the ones we had last year. Um, I'm gonna think, I think I'm gonna end up skipping this, I might do a multi, not for video or anything. I might end up doing a multi just for uh, CEs, because I like having CEs for grinding. But other than that, I'm not really gonna be going too crazy on this. I'm not the biggest fan of Gilgamesh. But if you are a huge fan of Gilgamesh, oh my god, he has not returned since this banner. I don't think he's had a solo banner since this banner, so I think this is the last foreseeable solo banner for Gil for two years. So if you definitely want him, I would suggest kind of throwing some multis on this. And plus it's nice to have Gorgon and Jaguar, man, if you do get them, because they are story locked. And sometimes story locked units can be harder to get than others. At least that's what I feel about it. Um, but yeah, especially if you're a big Gilgamesh fan. You should be summoning on this. So, let me look. The problem is, is that the, the actual coming up year is actually pretty rough. And I'll show right right here. So this is should I don't know if we're gonna get this. Cause we're not gonna be some we're gonna not gonna be celebrating Kiyomi 2019 exhibit. <laughs> I don't think we are, which is a shame because I actually wouldn't mind Kentucky. Oh, this had a rate up of Summer Mama. That's a shame if we miss this. It's always nice to have summer units show up. Hmm. Well, maybe they'll do it as like a celebration of maybe before Oni Land or something. I'm sure there's plenty of ways to kind of get it in order. But after that is Halloween 2018 rerun, which is the last Halloween event. Uh, but I think it's coming back in Japan this year, if you believe the things that the devs have said. But I don't think I need to summon on this at all, because I already did a video on it and I got Setonia. Actually, I wouldn't mind. Sh I wouldn't mind shooting, but I don't really need shooting. I think. I think she's like an arts AOE. 
Or, yeah, she is Arte Elite, which would be kind of nice, uh, since I will be going for Castoria, but... Um... Actually, let me see. Maybe she has some... Oh, that's a very good... Mm, okay, I'm gonna maybe throw some tickets on this. Maybe ten tickets will be enough for Oni Land for on a solo shooting day, and I will <laughs> gladly try and get her that day. Man... It really is as simple as like, hey, I don't really dig the main style of this, but let me check out her other styles, and it's like, oh, that's really good. I would love that. I would love to have that, personally. Let me see. I'm pretty sure there's a summoning campaign for this. Mysterious Heroin X. Ah, the actual thing that's nice here is actually the old CEs from the original Saber Wars, since the event doesn't come back anymore. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of these CEs at this point aren't that great. I don't think any of these are really good anymore. 65% chance to heal 750 each turn, not great. Damage plus 100 each turn. I think there's some battles where you actually would like a thousand damage just overall. I think it's against bosses who have like insane defense. Like they can't actually defend against damage that is a, like is flat increased like this. And this three is just the three, so. There are better three C's. Now this. Oh boy. This is a. Uh, this is the big one. This is the one I feel like most people are summoning, waiting for, and this is really why I think I'm going to be using a lot of my stuff as well, trying to get for Space Ishtar. So I'm thinking I've said like a ticket multi, one multi. For this one, I think it's everything I have saved, and I think at this point I currently have around 45 tickets and. 200? 200 sync quartz? I'll see if I can get some more by then, but I definitely want to feel like I'm going to be doing at least 10 and then seeing how I go. I really, really do not like going above uh, 5 unless it's summer, but for Space Ishtar, I think I'm going to go. I really like Rin, and I really like how Space Ishtar plays, and she's just future proofing for everything. And she's just awesome, and I wouldn't mind Jane, Calamity Jane either. This is pretty nice. So yeah, definitely going to be using a lot on this. But I think I'm not going to use any ticket stuff, and the reason is, is that I'm going to be saving it for some other banners. Let me look at the 18 million. Ooh, Saber Wars 2, Summoning Campaign 2. I have both of these units. There's no reason for me to summon at all. I think we already got the Babylonia release campaign. Because we get these super early. I think we got this early, so we're not getting a four ticket this year. Which is the <laughs> kind of sad thing about getting the four tickets early sometime. But who knows? Maybe they'll sneak something into the 18 million download campaign. Uh, this one I'm also not summoning on because I already have Scotty. So, and, and the NP on Scotty is kind of useless. At least I think it is. So, I mean, if there was a... There, there are just straight up better defensive NPs in, in the game, so... Ooh, game system updates. I think we already have these, though. I wonder what they're gonna add, then. Ooh, Chaldea, Chaldea, dinner time. Another new CE. Nice. Well, Lotto's gonna be happening, so I'm gonna hopefully have a lot of mana prison to spare. Let's see, hunting quest, there's usually never around this. Christmas 2019, where's no Samba Christmas, so... That sucks. It sucks for everyone who loves Samba. Snowfall Saber. I think I'm gonna do at best three ticket multis in Call of the Day. I don't really have the most want for a Snowfall uh, Stolfo Saber. It's not really in my wheelhouse, but I wouldn't mind having some of the grind seeds for this event. I also really like the Christmas theming. Could be nice to have, but again, Stolfo is not really my main dude. There's other dudes I prefer. Speaking of other dudes, I prefer. Big Beef! Super Orion. Definitely gonna be going for him. Don't know because I need to see how I'm gonna fare after Space Ishtar. But this is definitely a banner I want to summon on. I'm not even a dude who really likes like Buster memes, but I really like Super Orion because of his look. I think I think I'm one of the few me and my brother are the only two people who actually love the design of Super Orion. His like normal man face and his huge beefy man body built like a fucking um, linebacker. Not even a linebacker. He's built like... What is this man built like? He's built like so much. Let me look at him. 
Because it, you, until you see the massive girth of this man, look at that. Slab hard chest. Beef stroganoff. He is everything you want in just pure beef man. Look at the thighs of this man. He looks like Fred Flintstone if he took a bunch of steroids. <laughs> I love him. Absolutely love him. He looks like a Monster Hunter created character gone wrong. Love Super Orion. Gonna be going for him. And I think that's basically the end of the year. Man. So yeah, I think the main two dudes I'm looking out for here are Space Ishtar and Super Orion. So I'm gonna start saving up for them. I think Super Orion I'm gonna go full tickets on. And Space Ishtar I'm gonna go full multis on. And I'll see if I end up uh, succeeding. Uh, I really do not like summoning on these types of banners, by the way. I usually don't actually summon on these types at all. Um, and that's just because I don't like summoning on these types of banners. Which are non-event banners. They're, they're just not my favorite. They're not my favorite at all. And I think also... Uh, hmm, I should probably start planning for 2020. Hmm... Again, that's something to plan for the future. But that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. This is basically me looking at what we have left of the year and going like, okay, let me figure out a plan of summoning right now. I think that's basically how I'm going to go down. Um, tickets. Like three tickets worth. All the tickets, three tickets. Um, no ti nothing. Nothing. All hands on deck. Nothing, nothing. One round of multi tickets, and maybe one, once one multi summon. And even now, I'm kind of debating if I do a multi summon on this. But again, we'll see when the day comes. But that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. I'll see you guys in the next video, and you guys have a good old day and good luck, <laughs> good luck with your summons and good luck saving. Till next time, everyone. Peace out. Bye bye.